Hi, this is Jason Fielder with the Daily Forex Report for March 4th. We're currently looking at the U.S. Japanese yen pair. This pair closed higher, did create an outside day from the previous bar. Uh, we are looking for this pair to continue moving sideways with a bias to the downside. However, if we get a pullback, look for it to go as high as 89.75 possibly as low as 87.59. Look for some resistance around 89.50 and look for some support around 88.00. Now switching over to the Euro USD, this particular pair closed lower uh, over this last session. It's moving sideways overall, biased is sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 137.74, possibly as low as 134.71. Look for some resistance around 137.36 and look for some support around 135.50. Now switching to the pound US dollar pair, this particular pair closed down, uh, did break previous resistance. Uh, however, it did close down for the session. This pair is moving sideways with a bias to the downside. Look for it to potentially go as high as 152.19, possibly as low as 149.09. Look for some resistance around 151.40 and look for some support around 149.56. Okay, now looking at the U.S. Swiss, this particular pair closed higher today. Overall, this pair is moving sideways with a bias that is sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 108.54, possibly as low as 10621. Look for some resistance around 10800 and look for some support around 10715. Now, as far as news announcements goes, we have the U.S. Uh, non farm payroll being released tomorrow at 8 30 a.m. Eastern Time. Remember, this is the, the second most powerful news announcement uh, that is released. Uh, the consensus on this is that things have moved from a negative 20K to a negative. 65 uh, k so it could be negative news for the U.S. dollar. Uh, definitely keep an eye on this. If it comes out worse than negative uh, 65 k, we could see it. Uh, we could see this or the U.S. dollar uh, move much lower against the euro and the pound. Look for uh, what am I looking for during this next session? If you notice, I'm on the pound U.S. dollar pair on the four-hour time frame. This pair has created an inside bar. I am looking for a breakout. Uh, either to the upside or the downside. Preferably the downside is what I'm looking at right now, but either one will do. Looking for it to come down here about 80 pips or so, hitting this previous area of support. Now, if it does reach there and you want to continue down, uh, you could have a, an additional uh, target, actually an additional couple of targets uh, to hit prior to... Uh, Prior to exiting, now you know I would recommend that you trail stuff down. Use a one-to-one -one risk to reward for this first move. You can see that this break would be about 80 pips down, uh, an additional uh, 20 to 30 pips there. Come on down, and as it trails down, it could turn into a relatively uh, large trade, especially if we get a strong down movement, uh, which is possible. Now, if we move to the upside. Look for it to potentially, once it breaks here, look for the first area of, of resistance to be around the 151.93 area. Just to uh, give you an idea what that looks like, it's about 58 pips or so. Uh, then look for, beyond that, look for it to tag the 152.63 mark. So we could bring it on up to around the 126 uh, pip. And of course, we have a, an additional uh, resistance area at 153.22. So either way this goes, the breakout goes on this inside bar, we will look to get in either on a sell or on a buy to the upside. Well, that pretty much does it for today. So until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.